Hello everyone, welcome everyone. So, So hello everyone, welcome to today's session. Today we have another session on writing introduction. So yesterday we had a uh, session on understanding essay structures. Today we'll be discussing about how to write introduction. First of all, I'd like to welcome you all. Just let me... Voice. Okay. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Prabhjit Kaurjit Said. I'm an IDP and British Council certif uh, certified trainer. And today we'll be going to conduct a session on how to write introduction. So, introduction is a first paragraph of your task two. So, it is sometimes difficult for students to understand how to start your essay. So it is uh, time consuming when you have to begin your writing task. So kaha se shuru kare, from where to write, how to start it. So introduction is some, something that, uh, or, you know, take a lot of your time, right? Because beginning, beginning of anything is difficult. So uske baad jo flow ban jata hai, then you keep on writing. So we will be understanding what is introduction, how we need to write introduction, and how to make your introduction much more effective. And if you are facing problem in writing introduction, how you can overcome it, right? How you can fall for, you know, use simple ways to uh, write an introduction in your, essay, uh, in your essay writing. Just give me a So before starting, let's understand what is an introduction. So introduction hai kya? We know that it is the first paragraph of our essay writing. That is our introduction. So what it should include? So introduction simply means that you have to introduce the argument that you are going to make in your body paragraphs or in your essay. Okay. So you need to elaborate on the arguments. Then when a writer, when a reader, basically, when a reader reads your intro, you know, introduction, reader is examiner, okay? When he will read your introduction, he should have very much clear picture of what the topic is. What is the topic? And he should clearly, you know, understand what is your opinion or what is your answer, okay? So, introduction reflects, introduction is a reflection of what the topic is and what is your answer, okay? It... It is the first paragraph that maintains the relation with the upcoming paragraphs. So, in, in a simple language, introduction should have three things in it. Topic, what is the topic? A clear picture, a clear reflection of topic that examiner don't have to refer back to the topic again and again. Then, what is your answer or what is your opinion? And finally, why? Why this is your answer? So these three things should be clear in your introduction. How we will be, you know, how we'll be writing these three things. Let's understand. Simple two-step approach. We have to follow simple two-step approach when we are writing introduction. Now, what this two-step approach includes, it's rephrasing and writing thesis statement. Many students comes, uh, you know, they uh, ask about, ma'am, general statement. Lik sakte hai. Yes, of course, lik sakte hai. even in my class, in our premium classes where we do live sessions every day, students come up to me and they uh, because they they feel that adding general statement is important. Yes, you can add general statement, but avoid using general statement. Like, for example, you have an essay, you know, in, uh, on education. You can you don't use like education play a pivotal role in everyone's life. Right. Or you know, free university education uh, play a pivotal role in everyone's life. So this is very basic. This is kind of a memorized statement you are fixing in front of every uh, introduction. 
so if you have these statement avoid writing it better to follow two simple step approach that is rephrase the question and writing your thesis statement okay now what is rephrasing rephrasing means in simple words rewriting the question in your own words without changing its meaning so you have to rewrite the question in your own words without altering the meaning of your question so how we will not alter the meaning of the question now what hello yeah hello sharan how are you okay so rephrasing means rewriting the question in your own word without changing its meaning so rephrasing could be done by using synonyms wherever possible and restructuring your sentence we will understand how to use synonym how to write you know uh, restructure the sentence and the second step is your thesis statement thesis simply means answering the question answering the question and maintaining link with the next paragraphs okay so if i talk about uh, rephrasing the question from rephrasing our topic will be clear and from thesis our answer and why this is our answer it will be clear okay now so this is a topic in front of us some people argue that girls and boys should be educated separately while other think that it is more advantageous for children to study at same school what is your opinion so if i have a look at this question the first step is i have to write introduction for introduction i will use simple method so i know two steps rephrasing and writing thesis how will i rephrase i will use simple method which is known as chunking method i will chunk the information i will chunk the information chunking means breaking down the statement in some parts some people argue girls and boys educated separately other think it is more advantageous children to study at same school so i have chunked the information now i will think about some parallel meanings what are the parallel meanings so for some people argue i can write some people proclaim which is properly believed by some people right educated separately i can say individually educated individually or single sex education for study i can say schooling or i either i can write studying for same school i can write coeducational setup i have to think for the parallel meaning okay uh, for advantages i can say beneficial right so this is how i have chunked the information i have break down the information in parts and now i will rephrase my question simple rephrasing so rephrasing is done in two ways one is using synonyms wherever possible it is not at all important it is not at uh, not at all important to rephrase each and every word of the question right so the the words which you are confident about the words which you know that you are sure about the synonym you have to you have to rephrase that word only okay now some people argue i'm writing it is proclaimed by some people girls and boys should be educated in, sep uh, in should be educated separately so go for girls and boys i've used children should should be educated separately go to single sex school for studies so this is how i have rephrased right then while other people assert while other think so i have written while other people assert now here i am changing the structure of the sentence right so they are in the beginning they are talking about you know it is advantageous i have changed the position i have taken it to the end of the sentence now how, how it will come to study at same school getting educated in coeducational setup would be more beneficial for school boys and girls right it would be more advantageous for school boys and girls so this is my rephrasing i have picked the information chunked it into pieces and i have rephrased information i have used synonyms wherever possible and in the second part i have rephrased by changing the structure of the sentence this is what we need to do in the first part of the writing introduction now comes thesis thesis is very important it actually give a clear position 
what is your position and what is your opinion or what is your answer which we will be going to talk about in the upcoming paragraphs okay so it gives a clear position of writer writer means student who is writing the essay okay so thesis should be written in should be written very carefully okay so i have seen students students uh, you know tend to write i agree with the former or latter view point former means pehle wala latter means baad wala okay so i agree with the former or latter view point okay and the second one is i agree with the former or latter view point and i will elaborate it in the upcoming paragraphs right so this is something i have seen students writing this again and again i will elaborate it in the upcoming paragraphs so i this is something this is not wrong but this is very limited this is limited so this test is about your flexibility in the language so if you are using limited or very much uh, you know quite fixed phrases or memorized phrases it will affect your band score okay so i would recommend you to not write these fixed statements in your thesis sentence okay is it clear to everyone now this is the third one i agree that children should be sent to mixed sex schools mixed schools okay so it is fine i am giving my opinion i agree so i am saying that referring to the question i am referring to the question in my own words rather than writing the uh, letter or form okay so i am writing a question or uh, you know rewriting the question in my own words this is still okay but i have to be more elaborate we have to cover three things topic i have done now what is my opinion i will do it and why this is my opinion so i will clearly start with in my opinion this is again a linking word which is going to reflect that yes i am going to talk about my opinion now so i will start with in my opinion i firmly agree this is my opinion i take a firm agreement okay this is my clear position which i will be stating throughout the essay so i firmly agree that children should be sent to mixed sex schools for their education that children should be sent to i am rewriting the question in my own words referring back to the question in my own words so this as it will promote gender equality my reason why i am agreeing as again a, a language indicating language that is telling that i am going to write talk about my why i agree to this as it will promote gender equality and also will help them to understand real life situation so you know children will understand real life situation gender equality will be promoted so these are the two points which i will be adding in the upcoming paragraphs as well so my complete introduction would be this will be my complete introduction it is proclaimed by some people that children should go to single sex school for studies while other people assert that getting educated in coeducational setup would be more beneficial for school boys and girls in my opinion i firmly agree that children should be sent to mixed sex schools for their education as it will promote gender equality and will also help them to understand real life situations so this i will not write this if i want to write an effective introduction so for effective introduction i need to be more clear more precise and i have to show my flexibility in the language so let's have a look on this question we'll try doing it okay some people believe that teenagers should be required to do unpaid community service in their free time it can benefit or this can benefit teenagers and the community to what extent do you agree or disagree so they are talking about some people believe that teenagers should be required to do unpaid community service in their free time right this can benefit teenagers and the community okay so they are talking about teenagers it's a specific word in the question now when i will use synonym for this word i have to be very much clear and very much specific that i'm talking about teenager not children not people only teenager and the other specific word is unpaid community service that is voluntary voluntary work okay so i have to be very clear that i am talking about voluntary work or free community service okay or voluntary work for society right 
in their free time means they are talking about their leisure time so these are some specific words of the question which i need to be you know thoughtfully and mindfully you know i have to write them while rephrasing okay now let's understand we have to chunk the information for some people believe teenagers should be for should be we can write ought to ought to must must be required to do unpaid community service in their free time right this can benefit teenagers and community now the question is to what extent do you agree or disagree now we have we have to chunk the information for some people believe i will write it i can write it is believed by some some individuals opine as believed or as believed or proclaimed by some people i can start like this okay for teenager i can say teens youngsters adolescents okay unpaid community service voluntary service but for society the community service they're talking about right charity for society free community service free community work then benefit so for benefit can bring advantages or beneficial or helpful or valuable this is what i can write for benefit so this is how you know uh, when when even in our live training program even in the live classes when we do uh, write the introduction this is something which is very important because introduction can sometimes be very much time consuming so if you are aware if you are doing it correctly if you have a strategy how to handle your introduction even the most difficult question you will be able to write it down okay so this is the uh, chunking method is very useful to begin with right and yes of course we come we have you know in our sessions in our live classes especially for general training students we do advanced rephrasing as well okay but yes you can start use doing rephrasing using this chunking method which has which is quite effective and many of students have already benefited from this method okay now so we have already uh, have a list of uh, we have a list of words and we have thought of the parallel meanings now we will do the rephrasing part the first part is rephrase the question move with the question you just have to move as the question is moving just move with the question okay now some people believe some people are fine teenagers should be required so should for should be required we have used you know we have used that encouraging teenager that we should encourage teenager to participate to do for do we have used participate okay so this is we have used some better words so if you if you are beginner you can simply write that some people believe that teenager ought to do ought to perform ought to participate in right so this is how you can rephrase if you are in the beginning phase of your ielts preparation slowly and gradually you will be improvising you will be working on uh, different uh, kinds of uh, paraphrasing or restructuring okay so we can say some people are find that encouraging teenager to participate in free community service in their free time in their leisure time so this is the second sentence this can benefit teenager and community so we will say would be would bring immense welfare so another word would bring immense welfare or would bring immense benefit bring uh, immense advantage to society and individuals themselves teenagers and community so the, we have rephrase so this this rephrasing the second uh, question which we are doing right now is bit advanced than the previous one right we have tried to use different words but yes we have we are we are still uh, doing the chunking method but we have restructured and used more advanced uh, words in this now so this was our rephrasing how to write thesis they are asking about to what extent do you agree or disagree we have to talk about the extent what is the extent uh, I, am i completely agreeing with this partially agreeing with this or disagreeing with this what I, what is my opinion i have to tell that now so this is my thesis statement in my opinion so i am going to state my opinion i'm it is clear from the first phrase i firmly agree this is my position my position is that i firmly agree i am completely agreeing with this 
okay that involvement in voluntary service will benefit individuals as now i have i am again referring to the question i am i have given my position that i agree referring to the question that involvement this is a question in involve, uh, involvement in uh, sorry involvement in voluntary service will benefit individual as they can learn life skill and can also uplift the society in many ways so i am talking about they in the question they were talking about benefit teenagers and community so i am saying it will benefit individuals how they can learn important life skills and society because it can uplift lift, lift society in many ways right so this is my clear opinion i am agreeing because individual ko ye benefit hoga society ko ye benefit hoga right so this will be my complete introduction some people opine that encouraging teenager to participate in free community service in their later time would bring immense welfare to society and individuals themselves in my opinion i firmly agree that involvement in voluntary service will benefit individual as they can learn life skills and can also uplift society in many ways right i hope it is clear and easy to understand introduction and uh, students who are you know preparing for ielts who are just started preparing it will be quite helpful for you you can begin your introduction writing like this way now the third question nowadays both men and women spend a lot of money on beauty care this was not so in the past now this is a question this is causes so this question is bit uh tricky you have to understand here so nowadays so nowadays means in current scenario in the modern time both men and women both males and females both the genders spend a lot of money they are splurging they are spending a lot of money huge amount of money on beauty care on beauty products beauty care includes products treatments and procedures this was not in the so in the past so people in the past they were not doing this right what may be the root cause of this we have to talk about uh, they are asking what may be the root cause of this discuss the reasons and possible results so we have to give you know why people are doing this and what are the results of this so two questions are asked reasons and results okay so how we will rephrase this question so a bit advanced rephrasing is done here as well i have changed the structure completely when we we'll read the introduction we'll uh, identify the the structure the structure of the statement has been changed it is restructured so in the nowadays i've written in the modern era people as compared to the past so i am bring i have you know changed the position of this statement i have brought it forward people as compared to the past i'm making comparison have started splurging spend a lot of money this is the second so this is the first part so what this in the second and this in the third part have started splurging on beauty products and procedures now beauty products and procedure i'm talking this is the fourth part and this is also one part men and women so they are talking about both men and women i have to write this also in my this is because it is an important information they are not talking about only women only men they are talking about both men and women so i will write whether men and or women right so i have rephrased the question in single sentence by restructuring it and this is you know a bit advanced restructuring okay so it is in this modern era people as compared to the past have started splurging on beauty products and procedures whether men or women splurging means spending extravagantly okay now i believe this is my like i am i think that what they have been discuss reasons what may be the root cause i believe that this is mainly prompted by exposure to media and widespread adverti advertisement or increasing affordability whatever you feel you can choose two okay so i have to give answer here i have to give answer that what uh, what do i think are the reasons i will just not write like uh, there are many reasons and i will discuss in the upcoming paragraphs no i have to specify that yes there are reasons uh, because of which people are influenced to buy these products and this re these reasons are this and this okay so i'll say i believe this is mainly prompted by exposure to media and widespread advertisement and increasing uh, affordability 
so it means in my body paragraph i have two main ideas media and advertisement so i will be giving this in my body paragraph so what what are the possible results it has both positive and negative impact on society so in my solution on my result paragraph i will be writing about positive and negative impact on society okay yes i hope it is clear any question any doubt to anyone great so we have so far talked about we have discussed uh, writing introduction and i hope it will be very easy for you to write introduction now and uh, so the beginning of your essay which is like quite a, uh, quite time consuming it would be easy and you can approach it in much better way by going to the points which we have discussed chunk the information chunk out the information and write try to write it down try to rephrase use different words try to use different restructuring so we have done three types three questions here in in all the questions we use different rephrasing right just refer back to this video and don't forget to you know subscribe the channel we have more uh, videos or we will be coming up with the more videos on writing task okay Okay, so uh, let me introduce you to the our premium training program. Yes, we are offering premium training program in which you will get live session every day. So in live session, it is around one and a half to two hour of uh, session in which we do live readings. live writings are done writing discussion evaluations it is quite interactive session in which we discuss step by step approach of approaching your tasks okay so whether it's reading or writing or speaking speaking is one on one right everything is in much detail you will get mock test practice material and all the strategies will be discussed we approach uh, uh, you know in the live session we approach according to the weakness of individual student right so so this is the reason we we are we plan our classes and we plan the structure before we begin the class okay so students are many of the students are already benefited from this so we have experienced trainer who are certified martin sir he is a native english speaker it's me and miss amita we all are experienced and we have already helped many students to get their desired band students have scored government yes see there are some words there are some words uh, sony uh, in which yes so some common words you you think are used quite often in your uh, ielts writing you should have some you know uh, synonyms for it for example if you're talking you can say national authorities so this is some uh, synonyms we can use for gov uh, government so people like people government we have important challenges drawbacks so these are some words which are quite repeated in our ielts test so we should have the words which are you know repeated often we should know their synonyms okay society for society we can write community okay so you should be aware about of these words other than this so some words do not have direct synonyms for example university so so in that case we it's better to use referencing refer the word right you know the universities university the university of london is providing this course it is also offering this so i am using it for university rather than repeating it i have used referencing okay so if you are not sure about any synonym and you have to be careful you don't have to just use you just don't, just don't use synonym for sake of using it ye nahi karna ke सिनोनिम तो यूज करना ही है तो यूज कर ले तो अगर आप नहीं श्योर हो कि इसका एग्जैक्ट सिनोनिम क्या है क्योंकि अगर आप सिनोनिम यूज करोगे वो एग्जैक्ट मीनिंग नहीं कन्वे करेगा आपके बैंड्स बढ़ने के बजाय इट विल ड्रॉप बिकॉज इट विल बी काउंटेड एज अ रॉन्ग वर्ड सो बेटर यू कैन रिपीट दैट वर्ड अगर उस टाइम पे आपको नहीं आ रहा एक बार ही रिपीट कर लो उसके बाद रेफरेंसिंग यूज कर लो उसके लिए राइट टू मेंटेन अ फ्लो टू अवॉइड रेपिटेशन ओके or you can you can use a phrase for it right for example canteen 
सो अगर आपको नहीं पता कैंटीन या कैफेटेरिया का क्या सिनेम है ईटिंग एरिया ईटिंग ईटिंग जॉइंट तो आप इसको एक सेंटेंस की फॉर्म में फ्रेज की फॉर्म में यूज करो राइट any other question anyone sony uh, sony i think you are clear with your doubt great so yeah i was talking about the recent results so these are the recent results of a students in which they have scored you know uh, 8.5 in listening reading writing 7 7.5 and yes in speaking we have students with eight bands right so if you are looking for any kind of premium uh, training program you can simply reach us on these uh, given numbers right and our coordinator will be helping you out with the program right and i hope everyone is clear with whatever we have discussed today So thank you everyone for joining the session for today bye bye See you in the next session we'll be soon conducting a session on Wednesday with Mr Martin so i request everyone to subscribe the channel so that you get notification whenever we go live and you don't miss any live session bye bye